Labour Party leader Keir Starmer is Britain's new Prime Minister. He ended 14 years of right-wing conservative rule. Now, Labour, out of power since 2010, has pledged a foreign policy of progressive realism in a more volatile world. It promised to make Brexit work and seek an ambitious security pact with the European Union. How will the Labour government deal with their national issues? What would Britain's foreign policy look like under Keir Starmer? Let me decode it for you. The first month of Keir Starmer premiership will be a whirlwind of international diplomacy, including meetings with US President Joe Biden and European leaders. His first steps on the world stage will be at the NATO 75th Anniversary Summit in Washington, D.C. Starmer will then play host on July 18th at a European political community meeting with France's Emmanuel Macron and Germany's Olaf Scholz. Labour is expected to undertake a full audit across all government departments of the UK's relationship with China. Starmer thinks the UK needs to wean itself off China on issues like trade, commerce and technology while acknowledging the importance of cooperation on issues such as climate crisis. The challenge will be to balance UK's trade and economic interests with security imperatives. Starmer's party is committed to recognizing Palestinian statehood for a renewed peace process with Israel, which results in a two-state solution, but it has not set out any timeline for doing so. Other commitments include pushing for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza, the release of all hostages taken by Hamas, and an increase in aid for Gaza. Starmer has pledged to work with France's far-right National Rally Party. He said both bilateral deals with France and agreements with the whole of EU were important to address the issues of migrants crossing the channel in small boats. The UK has been one of Kiev's staunchest supporters and has provided money, weapons and troop training to help it repel Russia's invasion. Labour has stressed continued support for Ukraine. Starmer is expected to meet Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky early to reaffirm that message in person. Starmer has said a meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin is simply not an issue at the moment and described him as the aggressor in Ukraine. During election campaigns, Starmer has tried to woo British Indians as well as India. He sought to rebuild the strained ties between his Labour Party and the Indian diaspora. His party has fielded a number of Indian origin candidates in the 2024 UK election. Now, at the India Global Forum last year, Starmer set the tone for his party's India UK. Now, this is what he said I have a clear message for you all today. This is a changed Labour Party. What my Labour government will seek with India is a relationship based on our shared values of democracy and aspiration. New UK Foreign Secretary David Lamy is to visit India within the first month of taking office. Now, Lamy has been a vocal advocate of strong bilateral ties. In its election manifesto, Labour Party pledged to pursue a new strategic partnership with India, which even had a clear mention of a free trade agreement. Key sticking points in the FTA negotiations include India's demand for greater access for its skilled professionals in the UK market and the UK's push for lower import duties on goods like Scotch whisky and electric vehicles. Starmer has been critical of the delays in FTA under the Conservative government and said that his party wants to see the agreement cover more areas including new technologies, the environment and security. Thank <laughs> you.